Marvin, this is so nice having everyone over for New Year's Eve. Yeah, I really like this, you know. Hanging out with the white folks. Man, Martin Luther King would really be proud of us right now. This was his dream. Until Lee Harvey Oswald shot him down. Damn, I hate white folks. That's the wrong shooter. Marvin, I can't believe you still have your Christmas tree up. Christmas was a week ago. Take it down, lazy. Boy, need the 12 days of Christmas starts on Christmas Day. No, they don't, Karen. The 12 days of Christmas starts 12 days before Christmas. It's not the 12 days of New Year's Eve. Leave him alone, Boyne. Who wants some real? Really nice, expensive champagne. Oh, wow, Marvin, you got the fancy champagne. Oh, you rich, rich. That's that gold bottle. Ooh, Cartier, Boiny, they make expensive jewelry. I found the champagne online for like 60 bucks. You can all calm down. Boiny, you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. I can't wait for the ball to drop. That's my favorite part. Marvin, are you going to kiss me at midnight? Of course I am, baby. Yeah, I'm going to turn down them lips at midnight. Then I'm going to kiss your face. <laughs> Boiny, are you going to give me midnight smooches? Yeah, a quick one. Yeah. All right, guys, here's your New Year's snacks. Give me the cookies. I want the cookies. Boyne, no sweets. You're pre-diabetic. Boy, you're such a bitch. But, Boyne, you're a doctor. You did your own blood work, and your cholesterol was high. I know, and if I want to die early, I can die early. So, Chef Pee, Pee do you have a girl you can kiss at midnight? What do you mean? You have to kiss someone at midnight for good luck. It's true. So, do you have a girl to kiss? <laughs> do I have a girl to kiss? Ah, <laughs> silly ass, stupid ass, goof ass, fuck ass, boy. Of course I have a girl to kiss. Boy, you see, dumb, man. I got, like, holes in different area codes like Ludacris said. Seven to be exact. Tens, nines, couple fours and fives, even a two. But that's when I down bad. You know, horrendous. Stuff like that. So why don't you just bring all seven to kiss you at midnight? Why can't you do that? You really trying to, boy, set me up. You be treacherous. I know how you move in Marvin, but you sad. I can't do that. They already arguing over who get PP on Monday, who get PP on Saturday. Yeah, we can't do that. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if you just can bring one, that'd be nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got one. I got two. Plenty of them. I'm gonna bring one and tongue it down right in front of y'all ugly ass. Guys, I don't think he has a girlfriend. What, bitch? Fuck you mean, man? Hey, hey, somebody better get their bitch, bro. For real, for real. If I slap her ass, but you look, I ain't got no damn sister. Come bitch your ass, girl. No, please do. Boy, Nate. All right, everyone, just calm down. Look, just go get a girl so we can all share this bottle of champagne. Oh, share a bottle of champagne? You got like a pee pee a broke boy. Like, I ain't never had a bottle before. I pop bottles every damn night. Silly ass, goof ass, dumb ass boy. What? What's wrong with you? Okay, listen, just go get your girlfriend, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm bring my girlfriend. Don't be mad when that ass tooted up. Guys, do you think he has a girlfriend? No, no, absolutely not. He might. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Why you keep doing this to yourself, Pee Pee? You know you don't have any hoes or a girlfriend, and you're lonely as hell! God! Why you keep lying? Oh, man. You can't tell them the truth, though. Especially after that performance, they'll never let you live it down. Oh, I got an hour. I got an hour to get a girlfriend. It's possible. I can get her by midnight. <laughs> How am I going to do it, though? Hmm. Oh, I know. I can pull out a yearbook from when I was in high school. <laughs> you know, PP got them hoes. <laughs> Especially back then. <laughs> I couldn't be stopped. Fuck you, me. Oh, let me go and find it. Let's crack open this yearbook and call one of these hoes. Oh, is that me with my fly ass? <laughs> Ooh, I had the afro and everything. Damn, I wish I still had that fro. The hoes loved it. Oh, let's get to the hoes page. They flooded it with numbers. <laughs> Who's first? Who's first? Ooh, it was a nice ride. Yeehaw! Ooh, call me Charlene. Charlene, I know your ass gotta be down here, your sexy ass. Well, ooh, Charlene, goddamn. Somebody must have hit you with a frying pan because you butt ugly. Uh-uh, I need Brittany in my life. Where you at, baby? Ooh, Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. Oh, thanks for letting me copy your homework. But, but you didn't leave a number? Come on, what the hell, Brittany? Why are you teasing? <sighs> All right, who else we got? Who else we got? Um, I love your hair, Chloe. All right, where you at, Chloe? Since you love my hair. Oh, come on, come on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You look like a man, baby. Mm-mm. We can't do that. <sighs> what, what, what we got? Nice mustache? But you didn't leave a number? Well, where's the numbers? God damn, I'm going to call y'all. All right, I guess it's just between Charlene and Chloe. Mm, and I'm not calling Charlene ugly ass. Uh, Chloe, I guess it's you. Let me see. All right, Chloe, you better pick up. I know you ain't busy. Hello? Uh, hey, sir. I'm trying to speak to Chloe. Can you handle the phone, please? This is Chloe. Damn, girl, what happened to your voice? You sick or something? You just got out of bed? I'm transitioning from a ballerina to a male ballerina. Okay, okay. I can rock with that. You still look like a girl, though? I have the penis now. Oh, I'm stuck with Charlene. 
I can't do it with an ugly ass. Oh, no, no. Oh, I still got hoes, though. Of course, PB got them hoes. <laughs> I just got to look on Facebook to get their numbers. <laughs> what, what are they at? Mackenzie? Dead. Oh, Susan? Pregnant. Oh, Butisha? Oh, she's in jail? Oh, Brittany? Uh, OnlyFans? Black? Damn! <laughs> I'm stuck with Charlene. <laughs> All right, Charlene, please answer, please. Hello? What's up, baby? You know what the fuck going on? What's good? What's your sex sag, huh? Who's this? <laughs> you like to play jokes and shit like you don't know what's going on. You're crazy, crazy to yourself. What's good, girl? No. What? Man, it's, it's Pee Pee, girl. You know what's up? You know Pee Pee? No. <sighs> Pee Pee from uh, high school got pants in the cafeteria in front of everybody. They start calling me Pee Pee afterwards. Oh, it's you. Yeah. You know what the fuck going on, girl? What's good? What's your sex ass, silly? <laughs> what's going on? How you doing? Uh, you know me, just chilling in my mansion, enjoying my millions and shit, tight shit, you feel me? <laughs> Petting my Jaguar, saw your ass in the yearbook, and I was like, damn, I ass still looking fine, I bet. <laughs> Let me call her up, see what's up, you know? <laughs> she probably wifey material, main squeeze type shit. I bet she know how to cook and clean and everything. She know how to really treat a nigga. So what's up? What's good, girl? So you're telling me you're trying to take my sister Charlene on a date? Let me guess, this is your brother, Trailer Park Danny. Hell right! And if you want to turn with Charlene, you better wait in line. You know how long my cousin Philip's been waiting to tap that? Twelve hours since the last time. Well, tell cousin Philip he's gonna have to keep waiting. I got $20, I'm desperate. I'll send her right over. Woohoo! Alright, Charlene. Oh, your ugly ass is mine. Oh man, I can't wait for Charlene. She's almost here. There she is right now! Uh, hello? Oh. Damn, you startled me with those crooked ass teeth. Oh, how you been though, girl? Good, how are you? Yeah, I've been good living my multi-million dollar lifestyle, you feel me? Let me show you how the upper half live. <gasps> Alright, Charlene, welcome to my humble abode. Whoa! You got a nice house! Yeah, you know how I live, baby. A millionaire status tight shit, tight shit, looking for my main bitch. <laughs> you really think I'm pretty? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty as hell. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I bet you give the toothiest head. Uh huh. Oh, okay. All right, Charlene. So tell me, you went to college, baby? <laughs> I know you still got the same outfit on from high school. Ugh, dang, that's gross. But I'm gonna let it slide, though. That just means you kept your figure. You feel me? So uh, tell me, you went to college, baby? Oh man, nobody in my family's been to college. That, that's perfect. Everybody need a dumb asshole. <laughs> tight shit, tight shit. So uh, tell me, uh, what's your body count, baby? Oh, I got three brothers and seven cousins. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. Why the hell are you digging in your teeth? My tooth itches. All right, just just wiping on my couch. That's fine. No one sits there. Why are you itching your titty? Because they itch. Okay. Uh, what? You got moths or measles or something? I got fleas. Fleas. Fleas? How'd you get fleas? I got horses, duh. But you don't take a bath or anything? I take a bath but once a week on a good week. The shower's outside and my brother's hog unless I go in there with them. You know, you wash my back, I wash yours. <laughs> Ugh, that's gross. At least you try, though. <laughs> but look, baby, uh, look, I just need to kiss your ass real hard tonight at midnight. Really? Yeah, tongue you down, all that type type of stuff. You can kiss me, but you gotta be careful for this tooth because it's loose. You might swallow it, but don't worry, that's good luck. <laughs> Oh, that's gross. Perfect. Just fucking perfect. That's what I needed in my life, just to swallow a tooth. Uh, but look, baby, uh, yeah, you so damn beautiful. I need to put a bag on your head because, man, I don't want nobody to steal you from, from me. You just so damn perfect, baby. <gasps> you think I'm that purdy? Purdy. Purdy as hell. <laughs> so let me go and get a bag to put on your face. Rose, get out of the bathroom. The ball's gonna drop in a minute. Hey, lames. Here go my main bit. My main squeeze, the baddest one. Yeah, what you got to say now, huh? Huh? Oh, oh, I hear nothing. Nothing but crickets. Because <laughs> you're nothing but a lame ass, goofy ass, dumb ass, fuck ass boy. <laughs> 
So why does she have a bag on her head? What do you mean why she got a bag on her head? You think I'ma let you see my beautiful ass girl? Nah, she from Dubai. She accustomed to this lifestyle. This is how they live over there. You know what I'm saying? She a 20 out of 10 model status. You think I'ma let you see her? You'll drop your wife instantly. Please let me see her. Oh, nah, see? You begging already. I can't let you do that. You a lame. Stay in your own lane, boy. <laughs> yeah, talk your language, sex ass. Yeah, she's speaking that Arabian stuff. Oh, wait, so so what's her name? Uh, uh... Charlene. Champagne! Yeah, because I'm a pop ass tonight after this ball drop, you feel me? <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's, what's she itching? She's like itching something. Uh, uh. My two inches. Oh, she said she want my two inches. <laughs> she want me to go deep in it. <laughs> yeah. No, my two inches! <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, dear God, Karen, shield your eyes. Why is she so ugly? Oh, uh, that's, that's my two out of ten. Uh, look, look, look. I'm just building up ugly bitches characters all 2024. That's my New Year's resolution. Don't judge. Look, I'm building up these ugly hoes. I'm a nice guy. Oh, no, the ball's dropping right now. Hey, guys, I'm back. Ah. What? <laughs> you, gotta kiss, you gotta kiss the ugly hoes. Ah. Today is February 29th, 2024, and it is a leap year. Usually, February has 28 days, but every four years, February gains an extra day because every frog on Earth leaps at the exact same time, making Earth a little bit lighter. And then it pushes Earth further away from the sun. And then when all the frogs on Earth land back on the ground, then it pushes Earth back into a normal orbit. And that is a leap year. I was wondering why I didn't see any frogs today. Yeah, dude, I usually eat frogs for breakfast, but I couldn't find any by the river. Ugh. Guys, that's not what a leap year is. Oh, yeah? Then what's a leap year, nerd? Well, the Earth takes 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 46 seconds to orbit the sun, but we round that down to 365 days for a normal year. But then, every four years, we make up for those extra six hours by adding an extra day to the end of February. Why do you, like, look weird today? Like, did you get a haircut? Yeah, something's different about you, dude. And another crazy thing is that if your birthday is on February 29th, you only age every four years. Imagine having a birthday today. I know, dude. So depressing. I'd rather have a birthday on September 11th. <laughs> or Columbine. Yeah, days that actually matter. Dude, if my birthday was today, I would jump off the tallest bridge. Yeah, like the tallest bridge. Like, nah, my life doesn't matter. <laughs> Face plant. Yeah, so funny. <laughs> right, Cody? Cody, why are you wearing a dunce cap? It's not a dunce cap, it's a birthday hat. Dude, it's not your birthday today. Yeah, your birthday's not today. Yes, it is. Oh, wait, Joseph, today is his birthday. Oh, happy birthday, dude. Yeah, happy birthday, you butt humper. Thanks, guys. I mean, we don't understand why you do it, but we're still your friend. That's great, you can stop. So how many times do I get to hit you, though? Know? While I'm turning 16. Wait, how many birthdays have you actually had? Four. So you're four years old? No, we've had this conversation. I'm still 16. How many February 29ths have existed since you've been born? Four. So you're four years old? No, that doesn't mean time didn't still pass for 16 years. Okay, hold on. So when February 29th doesn't exist, what day do you celebrate your birthday on? March 1st. But were you born on March 1st? No. So you can't celebrate your birthday on a day you weren't actually born on, Cody. Yeah, you don't get to pick and choose, dude. Yeah, I, I want my birthday on Christmas. Nah, mine's is on 4th of July. Yeah, I want my birthday every single day. That's what I want. Guys, we've been through this before. I'm still 16. Teacher, Cody's birthday's today. How old is he? Wait, Cody, your birthday's on February 29th? That means you're only four years old. You can't be four years old in my class. You have to go back to kindergarten. Get out of my class right now. What? I'm the smartest kid in this class. I don't belong in kindergarten. Go to the kindergarten classroom right now. Oh, screw all of you guys. Here, you can have my stupid birthday hat. Look at the four-year-old throwing a temper tantrum. Aw, oh, I thought he was out of his terrible tools. You need your apple juice and your animal crackers. I hope you all die. Ugh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick's kindergarten class. I'm not supposed to be in kindergarten. I'm the smartest kid in the school. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>
she said one, two, three, all eyes on me. I think that means you gotta shut the fuck up. I don't wanna hear the word the hell off. Get my hammer. Class, class, if you're not quiet right now, no animal crackers or juice. Mikey, I'm calling your mother. <laughs> my mom's dead. <laughs> that is it. I'm putting my foot down. No animal crackers or juice. No animal crackers or juice. <laughs> You sit there and think about what you've done. I think my dad killed my mom. Okay. Now, class, we have a new student. Come here, young man. I'm Miss Fitzpatrick, and what's your name? Cody. Class, use your manners. Everyone say hi to Cody. Hi, Cody. Ow, Mikey, you little bitch. Now, Cody, that's no-no language. We don't use that. That was a no-no word. Okay, but Mikey's still a piece of shit. I know that, but we don't say it, right, Mikey? <laughs> Mikey, you little shit! I'm glad we're on the same page about Mikey. Cody, now, why don't you go introduce yourselves to your other classmates and try to make new friends? Find somewhere to sit. Okay. <laughs> hey, what are you chodes up to? I'm coloring it out, the puss! That's cool. I Penis <laughs> nice, two of my favorite things. Oh, the dizzy character's purple! Wow, you have a very vivid imagination, young man. Why is he only pushing bear? Bear's his favorite animal. The teacher said he's on the spectrum. Okay, well, let's try a different animal. Let's go back to bear. Yay. You guys have fun sitting here. I'm gonna go look for a different seat. Penis boom! Wow, this is cool. You guys get to just sit here and play with toys all day? Can I try? Ow, ow! Okay, okay, never mind. I'm not sitting here. Yeah. Oh, cool. Blocks. I wouldn't touch those blocks. Didn't miss Mikey's blocks. Yeah, well, guess what? Mikey's bitch ass is in timeout, so these are Cody's blocks now. Wow, can I play too? Sure, why the hell not? Oh, you're really cool, Cody. You know what? I hate you the least. What's your name? Freddy. Nice to meet you, Freddy. You think I can stick this block in my butthole? Not if I beat you to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, class, since you've been so good, I'm going to pass out the animal crackers and juice. Yeah! What about Mikey? Does Mikey get animal quackles and juice? Fuck off, Mikey! Oh, okay, okay, Mikey, Mikey, listen. If you can be quiet for three whole minutes, you can get out of timeout and get animal crackers and juice. Okay, Mikey will not make a sound. Okay. <coughs> okay, class, I'm gonna pass out the snacks. Wow, you guys get animal crackers and juice? It's animal crackers and juice day. Here you go, Cody. There's your animal crackers and juice. Dope. Nope. And here you go, Freddy. There's yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for saying thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you for saying you're welcome. You're welcome again. You have such good manners. Damn, Freddy. I think she has a crush on you. You could probably tap that if you wanted to. You're in there like swimwear. I wear pull-ups when I go swimming so I can take a dookie in the pool. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, class. Are you enjoying your animal crackers and juice? Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, I got a question. What is it, Taylor? Why does Daryl get a Coca-Cola? Because Daryl is special. Is it because it's the last day of Black History Month? No. Daryl, Daryl, I have a question for you. What kind of animal drinks Coca-Cola in the commercials? Bear, bear, bear. Very good. A bear. Specifically, a polar bear. <laughs> Alright class, I hope you're enjoying your crackers and juice. Uh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick? Mrs. Fitzpatrick? Mrs. Fitzpatrick! What? Um, I've been really quiet, so I was wondering if I could go out time out and eat some crackers and juice. Yes, you can go back to your seat. Yay! Uh, but, 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 if you act up again, Mikey, you're back in time out. Okay! <laughs> Yeah, Freddy, I think the elephants taste better than the hippos. But not as good as the giraffe ones. Hey, what are you doing near my blocks? This is my seat, I sit here. Yeah, well, don't touch my blocks. I don't see your name on them. Well, they're my blocks. What are you even doing here, Mikey? They let you out of time out already? Yeah, I did three minutes a hard time. Hey, where's my straw? My apple juice doesn't have a straw. Freddy, give me a straw. No, I'm using it. I said, give me a straw. No. Hey, Mikey, how about you back the fuck off, Freddy? How about you make me full eyes? You also have glasses, dumbass. Oh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, Cody said dumbass. 
So did you, dumbass. Yeah, dumbass. Settle down, class. It's nap time. So everyone get out your pillows and blankets and lay down your heads and shut the fuck up. Wait, you guys get nap time? Yeah, what kind of school did you go to before? We get nap time every day. Yeah, I think the teacher uploads on our OnlyFans while we're napping. Well, good for her, I guess. Wow, this is the life. I get to eat animal crackers, and drink juice, and I get nap time? We didn't even learn anything today. <laughs> I can get used to this. Oh good, they're all asleep. Now I can check my OnlyFans, see how it's doing, so I can get out of this shitty job. Sweet Jesus, Freddy, those animal crackers aren't settling right, are they? <laughs> hey, why do I block smelling poop? Oh yeah, we shoved those up me and Freddy's ass. <laughs> Maybe Freddy should have stayed court. This has been bad, Twin! Cody shoved one of my blocks up his ass! Freddy did too! God damn it, Mikey, you're not supposed to be playing with your blocks in his nap time! Don't be mad! Because you only have two subscribers on your OnlyFans, and my dad's one of them. That is it! Time out, mister! Time out again? Haha, <laughs> enjoy being in time out, Mikey, you fuckhead. <laughs> ow, 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 he's biting my fucking head! Danger, get him off me! He's biting my hand! Mikey's biting me! Mikey, 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 no biting! No biting, Mikey! Oh, God, not again! <laughs> God, school sucked today. We have so much homework. Yeah, dude, I'm over it. Hey, guys. Cody, how'd you get here before us? I'm in kindergarten. We get out at noon. You get out at noon? Oh, lucky. Yeah, I'm four years old, so I guess I don't have to be in school as long. Wait a minute. You're four years old, so that, that means you're in kindergarten. <laughs> Loser. How was it? It was awesome. I got to eat animal crackers and drink apple juice, and I got nap time. Nap time? Yeah, it's perfect. The only thing that sucks is Mikey. Who's Mikey? He's this annoying little shit that bit my hand. I wish they had to cut his head off to see if he had rabies. So you're actually going to stay in kindergarten? Yeah, I think I'm going to stick around for a while. I was going to tell my parents and have them call the school so I can go back to normal classes, but I think it's pretty fun. I'm going to hang out there. Well, well, we have a bunch of homework. Do you have homework? Uh, yeah, Miss Fitzpatrick said I have to find three things that are blue. My bow tie's blue, my shirt's blue, and my pants are blue. <laughs> well, I guess I'm done with my homework. I'm free for the afternoon, guys. Maybe I'll go practice my napping. What? I want to go to kindergarten. Dude, I hate him. My last off day before I have to work tomorrow? No, Boiny, today's your daughter's birthday! No, it's not. Didn't she just have a birthday? Ow! That was a year ago, Boiny! What? There's no way it's her birthday. Hey, Dad, what are we doing for my birthday today? Oh my god, you were serious. Uh, you know, like, like birthday stuff? Oh my god, you forgot it was my birthday, didn't you? No, 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 I didn't forget. I, I never forget your birthday. Then where's my birthday cake? Uh, I, I, I have, I have it. I definitely have it. It's, it's in the fridge over there. Just, um, give me, like, 15 minutes. T 20 with traffic. Okay, here's your cake. God, I hate Walmart now. It's all self-checkout. You know, I already have enough jobs. I shouldn't have to check out my own groceries. And then when you go to leave, there's somebody there to check your receipt. Like, yeah, I'm gonna steal a $10 cake. They hire somebody to check your receipt, but not to check you out. That makes a lot of damn sense. Uh, not that this has anything to do with your cake, because I got that out of the fridge. But what took so long was there was a train in, in front of the fridge, a 180 car train. And also I had to decorate it, so there's that. Happy birth pen lobby? Uh, yeah, I, I ran out of room. Dad, that's not how you spell my name! Dad, d d don't worry about it. Just look how pretty your cake is. Dad, how old am I? Uh, d I, y y you know, Penelope, it's rude to ask a lady your age. But I'm not asking a lady, I'm asking my dad my age. Uh, well, just count the number of candles. That's how old you are. There's ten. You think I'm ten? Uh, I think you're a ten out of ten daughter. <laughs> I can't believe you forgot my age, Dad! Hey, hey, hey. I didn't forget your... How old do you feel? I mean, that's really what matters. Uh, hey, look, let's just sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Pat Loppy. Happy birthday to you. Okay, blow out your candles. Make a wish. I wish my dad wouldn't lie for a whole day. <sighs> okay, well, that was a stupid wish. I mean, you know I'm a liar. I bought this cake from Walmart because I obviously forgot your birthday. I, I, I don't know why I just said that. Did you get me any presents, Dad? No, I'm a cheapskate. You know I don't get your presents. Your cake is your present. Eat it. What, why am I saying these things? 
Oh, what is wrong with me? Why would I say those things? Boyney, how can you say those mean things to your daughter? I, I don't know. I mean, they were true, but I just felt like I couldn't lie. Boyney, maybe you're just stressed out. Do you want to fool around? No, I'm not attracted to you. <gasps> I, I, I mean, I close my eyes and think about other people. Like last night, I thought about you being the girl in the Taco Bell drive-thru, and she really wasn't even that attractive. She was just more attractive than you. I, 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 uh, I, you know what? I, I'm actually going to go to work early. I, I, that, that's the truth. I, I'm going to go do doctor things. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Doctor, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to work tonight. Yeah, I just didn't want to have sex with my wife, so I thought I'd come here and get some overtime hours. Mm. Uh, hey, Luke, how you doing? <sighs> how is he? He's not going to make it past tomorrow. I know. Hey, Doctor, will I live to see my birthday? Mm, when's your birthday? In two days. No, no, you're going to die tomorrow. Doctor, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I just can't lie. Doctor, is my son going to be okay? No, but you have huge boobs and I really want to squeeze them. Doctor, get out of here! Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right, I'm sorry. Ma'am, we're doing everything we can to save your son. But your son's still going to die, so can I please squeeze your boobs? Doctor! I'm going to close my eyes and think about you when I'm making my wife tomorrow. Doctor, get out! Okay, yes, I'm sorry. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What is wrong with me today? Why can't I lie? Doctor, what is the matter with you? That was so inappropriate back there. Yes, I know. I'm sorry, Nurse Jackie. I don't know what's going on with me. I just can't lie today. So you do want to grab that woman's breast? Duh, of course I want to grab them. They're huge. Did you see them? I want to grab them. I want to squeeze them, suck on them, motorboat them. Doctor, pull your cell together. You have to make it up to that kid back in there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm a professional. I can do this. Uh, I'll dress up like Spider-Man. Kids love Spider-Man. Good thinking, Doctor. Hey, Luke, today you're going to have a special visitor. Is it someone with a cure for my cancer? Um, not exactly. Hey there, Luke, it's me, the doctor. Um, I think you meant, hey, Luke, look, it's me, Spider-Man. Nope, Spider-Man's not real. I'm the doctor and I'm dressed like this because you're going to die. Doctor! <sighs> you're not the real Spider-Man. Nope, see, it's me, the doctor, and your mom has really big cans and I just love to squeeze them. <sighs> I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Okay, so for some reason I can't lie, so being a doctor's kind of hard, but being a cop should be easy, because cops are supposed to be honest, you know? Protect and serve and all that, so this shouldn't be too bad. What? Oh my god, that guy's going way too fast! I gotta pull that guy over! Hey there, sir, you know how fast you were going? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Officer. See, my wife, she's in the hospital, and I'm trying to make it there. I don't believe you. Do you have any drugs in the car? Whoa, why would you say something like that? It's because I'm black? Mm, yeah, yeah, it is. I'm racial profiling. I knew it! I'm, I'm sorry, you can go. I'm sorry. Yeah, have a nice day. No, I want to speak to your uh, police manager. Guy, did you racially profile a black man during a traffic stop? Yes, I did. I do it all the time. Guy, you're not supposed to be honest about it. What's wrong with you? I don't know, sir. I, I just can't lie for some reason. Well, you can't be a cop until you get that straightened out. Take some time off. I can't take some time off. I need the money. And I have a drinking problem, and I have to be able to afford my booze. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll try my lawyer job. Okay, so I read your case, and it says you're being accused of trying to kidnap a girl. Yep, yeah, uh-huh, that was me. I did that. Guilty as shit. Uh, I, I really wish you hadn't told me that. Well, I want you to get me off, and then I want you to win the case. Wait, so you want me to lie? Yes, do your job! Uh, okay, I, I will do my best. All right. Order, 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 order. Mr. Screwball. Here. I wasn't calling attendance. I'm sorry. You are being accused of trying to kidnap a child. How do you plead? Not guilty. Hmm. Seems very believable. I suppose I'll have to ask the victim, Jenny Wobbleknees. Jenny Wobbleknees, did this clown try to kidnap you? Yes, that's the mean clown that tried to kidnap me. Well, I can't believe you. You're a child, and your knees are quite wobbly. I suppose I have no choice but to declare Mr. Screwball innocent. But first, I will ask your attorney. Do you think Screwball is guilty? Uh, yeah. You do know that if you say not guilty, I will find him innocent and you will win this case. No, yeah, I know that, but, like, I know he's guilty. I mean, he told me he did it, so I know he's guilty. What are you doing? You're supposed to lie. Excuse me? What? what? Yeah, yeah, I think he's guilty. He's really guilty. Okay, then. Well, I suppose I find Screwball guilty. I sentence you to a year in prison. Go! 
You're the worst lawyer ever! You're supposed to lie! Yeah, yeah, I know. I just, I can't lie today for some reason. But, I mean, you do deserve to be in jail. You are a terrible person. Okay, I'm gonna try my firefighting job because there's no reason why not being able to lie should be a problem here. Hey, mate, there's a house on fire! We gotta go, quick! Okay, okay, let's go, let's go! Someone, please, help! Don't worry, ma'am, we're here. My house is on fire! Oh, my God. That, that is an inferno. My son is in there! I can't lose both my sons in one day! Oh, it's you, booby lady! I wanna squeeze him. No, go save my son! Uh, no, I don't wanna do that. What? Because I'm scared. I, I don't want to die. Y your sons are dead. Um. Okay, there is no reason that I would need to lie as a pizza delivery man. All I do is hand them the pizza and they hand me the money. It's that easy. I can do this. Ah, Daddy, I can't see you. I'm blind. Oh, there you are, Daddy. <sighs> Marvin, where's that pizza we ordered? I'm starving. It'll be here any minute, baby. Mm. Pizza, pizza. What? There's someone at the door. That might be the pizza. Hello? Hey, I got your pizza. I scratched my balls and picked a few pepperonis off and ate them on the way over here, but they were still pretty good. That'll be 20 bucks. Uh, here's the $20. Um, no tip? No, I don't have anything for tip. Is that okay? No, no, I'm, I'm actually pretty pissed off about that. I, I have a family to feed, I have a drinking problem, I'm not sexually attracted to my wife anymore, and I let two kids die today, so it's been pretty rough, honestly. Well, do you want to come inside and eat some pizza? Yes, yes, I would like that very much. Thank you. All right, you can put the pizza right there. Marvin, what is the pizza man doing here? He was really sad, so I offered him some pizza. We don't have enough pizza to share. Jeffy eats half a pizza just for himself. That's right, Mommy. I'm a growing boy. Oh, don't worry. I already scratched my balls and had a few pepperonis. Ew. I'll show you which pieces. It was this one and this one. Oh, and over here, I, I tried one of the pepperonis and it was too chewy, so I spit it back out onto the pizza. Nope, no, nope, I'm good. I don't want any. No, it's okay. I washed my balls. I, I'm sorry if I'm being overly honest. I just can't lie today. But you can't lie? No, I've been trying all day and I just can't lie for some reason. You can't tell a single lie. No, nothing. You gotta be able to lie. Look, grab that pen right there. What, uh, this one? Yeah, yeah, say that pen is red. Uh, okay. This pen is... Okay, uh, this pen is... Okay. The pen that I hold in my hand is royal blue. The goddamn pen is blue. Oh, God, I can't lie. When did this start happening? I don't know. It was like earlier today, and it was my daughter's birthday. And, oh, my God, that's it. My daughter wished for her birthday that I couldn't lie for a whole day. So, I mean, I guess I could probably just wait till tomorrow and then start lying my ass off. But I want to lie now. Well, how can you reverse it? Um, oh, I know. I'll, I'll get my daughter over here and then get her a new birthday cake. And then whenever she blows out the candle, she can wish for me to lie again. Okay, I'll call her right now. Dad, you called me here to this random person's house? Yeah, Penelope, I got you another birthday cake. Why? Uh, well, your wish came true and it's ruining my life. Wish? What wish? Well, you wished that I couldn't lie for a whole day and now I can't. You can't lie? This is the best day ever! Have you been saving up for my college? No, I spend the money on stuff I want. Okay, well, do you love me? Mmm, kind of. Sometimes. I mean, sometimes I regret having you because you remind me so much of your mother. But hey, uh, don't worry about that. Just blow out your candles. Make another wish. I need for you to wish that I can lie. Why would I want you to start lying? Well, Penelope, I need to do it for my jobs, okay? It comes in handy way more than you think. Ugh, fine. I wish my dad would start lying again. <sighs> Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Let me try it out, let me try it out. This pen is... What the hell, Penelope? Well, I said it, but I didn't mean it. That's gay! What? Come on, come on, here, okay. You know what, I'm gonna light it again. Light it, light this candle again, and I need you to blow it out, and this time I need you to mean it, okay? Okay, I wish my dad could lie again. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. This pen is... Oh, come on, Penelope! You got three and a half hours left in the day, Dad. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'm just gonna go to bed for the rest of the day, and I'm gonna lie tomorrow. I'm gonna lie to everybody. So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know. <laughs> Joseph, who are you testing? Don't ask him. Do not give him the attention that he wants. But I want to know, Junior. It's not worth it. It's never worth it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! crazy! Oh, Junior, I gotta ask him. Please don't ask him. Please. <laughs> oh, Junior, it's killing me. I have FOMO. I need to be included in the joke. People like that only want attention. <laughs> Why are you sitting a picture like that? <laughs> oh, 
Hey, Joseph, who are you texting? Oh my god, you so damn nosy, Cody. But if you must know, I just been texting a dude that I met online. He's pretty chill. Wait, you met a dude online? Yeah, it's nothing weird like that. Get your mind out of the gutter. God, all we do is talk about sports. He's an Eagles fan. Wait, how old is this guy? Uh, he's in his 30s or 40s. That's weird, Joseph. No, it's not. We just talk about basketball and football, I promise. Nothing weird. The only weird thing he's ever done was send me a picture of his junk. But I think it was by accident. He must have been trying to send it to his doctor or something. But he just sent it multiple times, like many times over. More than I can count. Joseph, he's starting to sound like one of these. Nah, don't try my homeboy like that. He's not one of those. Nah, he's, he can't be. Can't be. <laughs> he just likes cupcakes, and I invite him over to eat some. You invite him over to my house? Yeah, he's pretty chill. I thought you would like that. Joseph, who buys gray, yellow, and white cupcakes? They're the color of my sadness, Cody. Cupcakes? Yes, Jeffy, cupcakes. Yummy. Wait, why are the cupcakes all messed up? Yeah, what did you pogo stick on the way over here? Now, you know my only way of transportation is a pogo stick, Cody. Oh, that's him, dude. Oh, let's meet him downstairs with the cupcakes. I'm gonna call, call, the call the cops. Yeah, I was gonna say call the cops. Yeah. What's up, dude? I got the cupcakes. I'm glad you can make it. What the fuck's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Ethan. C445, nigga. But Joseph, that's his name? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So, what are you doing here? Yeah, I just took a mean ass shit in Chipotle. And um, I've been holding this shit for almost, what, 15, 16 hours. I used so much tissue to wipe my ass with. When I flushed the toilet, it didn't go all the way the fuck down. So, um, of course, there's tissue. Not all of the tissue can go down in the fucking toilet, you feel me? Y yeah, that that makes sense. Oh, look, Cody, the cops are here. Okay. Freeze, get up against the wall. You're under arrest. Yeah, arrest them for talking to kids online. No, don't arrest my friend. What are you doing here, bub? Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake <laughs> and then go back home. Oh, yeah? Likely story. You're coming with me. Yeah, that's right. Arrest him. Dang it, guys. I can't believe you got my friend freaking arrested. You guys suck. Well, Joseph, he got himself arrested. He was one of these. No, he wasn't. He was not one of those. You're a liar. Hey, guys. Thanks for helping me catch that guy. Who knows what could have happened? He would have ate a cupcake. Oh, I don't think he was after cupcakes. Yes, he was. Look at the text. That's all he wanted. Oh, God. So much penis. Oh, it's a good thing he's in jail. He already had several charges, including destroying a Chipotle bathroom. So what do you guys want to do now? Well, you guys are so good at helping me catch people like that. If you guys weren't underage, I'd use you as bait all the time. Well, I'm not underage. I think we have today's video idea. Okay, kids, you can scram. This is a Jeffy video now. Jeffy, call your dad in here. Daddy! What do you want, Jeffy? <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh, I just came to arrest you for how you've been treating these cupcakes. Those aren't my cupcakes. Ooh, so you're saying I can have one? Sure. Okay, well, it's actually illegal to give away something that's not yours, but I'll let it slide just this once if I can have a cupcake. I said you can. Okay, well, I can't let it slide twice. You're under arrest. For what? I'm just joshing you. Calm down. What are you doing here? Oh, well, I got a job offer for Jeffy. Oh, no, I'm not working at that Five Nights at Freddy's place. Uh, no, no, that's that's a different video, and that's not happening for a while. I mean, sure as hell not in January. Adds a shit then. I mean, maybe in February. We'll see. So what's your job offer? Oh, well, earlier tonight, I, uh, one of those came over to the house and tried to talk to Jeffy and some other kids. What, uh, one of those? Yeah, don't worry, I arrested him, but that got me thinking. You know, we could get Jeffy to go online and pretend to be a kid to attract, you know, those people, and then whenever they come over here, I arrest them. Um, that sounds kind of dangerous. Oh, what's dangerous about inviting a monster over to your home whose only intention is to assault somebody? Look, you'll be fine. How's the pay? Oh, the pay's great. It's kind of a commission sort of situation, so Jeffy would get a hundred bucks for every guy I arrest. So it'd be a hundred bucks per perv. hundred bucks per perv. So if you arrest a hundred pervs in a night, that's ten thousand dollars in a night. Yeah, but I don't think your kid is that good looking. And also, they'd have to line up at the door and take a number, and then they'd see people coming out in handcuffs. Look, well, let's just see what happens. All right, yeah, we're, we're down. We're, we're totally down. Okay, I'll go get my laptop. <laughs> okay, I got my laptop, and I'm setting Jeffy up a profile. Okay, his username is my parents aren't home 2011, and I set his age as 12. Hold on, I gotta take a picture for the profile. Make a good face, Jeffy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Okay, let me just uh, upload that. Oh, I got a biter. Okay, he's coming over. But already? Oh, yeah, my pedo riz is unreal. The things I said were diabolical. So what's going to happen now? Okay, so now whenever the guy comes over, Jeffy's going to open the door, and he's going to let the guy in and take him to the kitchen. Then he's going to say he has to go use the bathroom or something, and then this TV show host is going to come in and roast the hell out of him. Damn right! Oh, okay, well, what if the guy has a gun? He's not going to have a gun. Calm down. Oh, he's here! Everybody take your positions. Jeffy, go answer the door. Okay. Hello and welcome to How to Catch a Pervert. Just outside this door is a man who thinks he's going to be meeting up with a 12-year-old boy. But really, he's going to be meeting up with our 19-year-old decoy, Jeffy. Jeffy, I'm going to go hide in the pantry until you bring the pervert into the kitchen, and then I'm going to come out and roast him with hilarious puns. Oh, that sounds like him. He must be hungry. Answer the door, Jeffy. All right. 
Hello? Oh, god damn, you're hot. So, uh, yeah, you are My Parents Aren't Home 2011, right? Yeah. And you are 12, right? Uh-huh. Oh, jackpot. So, uh, you gotta invite me in? Don't be rude. Yeah, come on inside and smell my butthole. Oh, don't mind if I do. All right, you stay right here and I'm gonna go to the bathroom and wipe. All right, baby. A couple sips of this NyQuil and he'll be out and I'll be in. Hey there, sir! Back off, he's mine. I found him first. Ew? Well, what were your intentions here today? I'm trying to smash, man. What you talking about? <laughs> what you thought this was? So you're not even trying to deny it, huh? Listen, I'm not sharing. You can have what's left after. Well, nothing inappropriate's happening here today. Well, I didn't think it would happen here. I assumed we'd be doing it in, like, a bedroom or something. Listen, I don't think you understand. You're on the hit TV show, How to Catch a Pervert! Oh, you're recording this? That's great. Be sure to send me a copy afterwards. N no, no, that, that's not what we're doing. Listen, you're going to jail, and this is a police officer. Well, I can't go back to jail. This is a setup. <laughs> Help, police! I'm the cameraman. Freeze, get on the ground. You're under arrest. I'm not going back to jail. Oh, shit, he has a gun. Run! <laughs> Okay, okay, let him go. Fuck it. He has a gun. Just just lock the doors. <sighs> Did I hear gunshots? Yeah, he had a gun. Did you arrest him? No, because he had a gun. Don't you have a gun? Yeah, but I left it in the car. Well, go get it and go after him. No, I want to do this. This is more fun. There's a predator on the loose that shot at police. But yeah, but you're not my boss, okay? You can't tell me what to do. Well, do we at least get the $100? No, because it's per arrest and I didn't arrest him. Oh, man, so I wiped for no reason? No, no, you wiped for a reason because I am the Rizzler and I'm an Rizzler up some old men. Well, what if the next one has a gun? Well, I'm just gonna pat him down when he comes in. You can't pat him down. He'll know he's caught immediately. Well, I'm just gonna tell him that I'm Jeffy's 14-year-old older brother who's playing cops. You don't look 14. Yeah, well, you're bald. Oh, yeah, Marvin, by the way, we're gonna need you to interrogate the next pedo. Well, what happened to Steve? Well, Steve broke his nose when the last one headbutted him, and he doesn't want to do it anymore, so it has to be you. I don't want to get headbutted. I'm not doing it. Listen, it's 100 bucks, man. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, I got one. Ooh, with a wiener pick. Ooh, put that in the small fold. Older. Yeah, I'm categorizing the wiener so I can make a collage for the Met. It's been a long time since I put one in the humongous folder, though. Might just have to take a picture of my own wiener. Oh, he's here! Okay, Jeffy, you know what to do. Marvin, go downstairs. <sighs> Hello? Hey there. Oh, hey, Jeffy. I didn't know you were 12. I'm not. I'm 19. But I lied. You said you were 12. Hey, bud. I gotta pat you down real quick. Who are you? Oh, I'm his 14-year-old brother. You don't look 14. Yeah, well, I saw your dick and I put it in the small folder. Yeah, he's clean. Well, I wouldn't say clean. I have herpes. Well, you wanna come inside? Okay! Alright, you stay right here and I'm gonna go shave my asshole. Okay. Okay, I don't mind. Do, 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 do. Oh, look, Kool Aid. Yummy. Hey there. Ah, who are you? I am Jeffy's father. Oh, no, am I in trouble? You're in a lot of trouble. Can you pee on me? Wh what? I'm in a naughty piggy and I need someone to pee on me. No one's going to pee on you because you're on the hit TV show, How to Catch a Perv. Oh no, am I going to jail? Yeah, because you're a perv. Oh, <laughs> my dad's going to be so disappointed. I'm sorry, daddy. <laughs> I'm such a fuck up. You were trying to get with a 12 year old. <laughs> I was, I'm so sorry. Well, you got to leave so you can go to jail. I don't want to leave. Can I stay here with you? No, you gotta leave. Okay. Can I go out the back door? Can you go out the back door? I think so. Okay. Can I take this coin with me? Yeah, you can take whatever you want. You're going to jail. Thank you. What the hell is taking so long? Where is he? I'm ready to arrest him. So where are you from? Australia. Sydney. Guys, where the hell is Pepper My Balls 69? Who? The weirdo. Oh, he went out the back door. The back? Door? You're supposed to send him out the front door. He said he could go out the back door. Well, I didn't know. God damn it, guys. We let another one get away. Get away? You don't have the whole house surrounded with cops? No, we're the only two cops here. And I'm the cameraman. God, you're only supposed to send him out the front door. Do I get my hundred dollars? No, because we didn't arrest anybody. Damn it. <sighs> Marvin, this is not supposed to be this hard. We've already lost two and both of them are your fault. How is the first one my fault? I warned about the gun. Okay, yeah, you're right. The second one was your fault. Okay, we're both tied one at one. Your fault. Yes, okay, deal. But we're still gonna arrest one tonight because I am going to become the Wizard of Oz. The ultimate Riz. I'm gonna give this everything I've got. Okay, I've matched with one. Let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah, he'll like that. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. No, 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 no. That sounds desperate. No, that's no good. Let's try a different approach. Okay, I think I got him. And send. <laughs> oh, and we got a wiener pick too. Let's open that up. Woof. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Marvin, come look.
I don't want to. Marvin, come look. Oh, sweet Jesus. I know, right? Look at that thing. That's going in the humongous folder. Can I see? No, no, you can't. No, actually, you know what? That's getting its own folder called Damn. With not enough storage. Marvin, do you have an external hard drive, preferably two terabytes? We don't have time for that. <laughs> oh, terabyte dick. Marvin, I'm not gonna lose this. This is a unicorn. It's like seeing a supernova in a telescope. It's one in a million. <laughs> Is that him? Yeah, it must be him. Okay, let's go over the plan. Jeffy, you're gonna bring him in and take him to the kitchen. I'm gonna pat him down. Marvin, send him through the front door. Why don't you just arrest him at the front door and we eliminate the kitchen? Huh. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know what? Let's just feel it out. Jeffy, to the door! Onward! Hello? Hey there, kid. Ready to play with my snake balloon? Excuse me, sir. Let me just pat you down real quick. Oh, uh, God, I can feel it. Oh, God, it might as well be a gun. Can we hurry this up? I gotta let this kid play with my snake balloon. Sir, what were your intentions here tonight? To let this kid play with my snake balloon? Well, I saw the messages. I wrote them myself. Why would you write the messages for him? Does his hands not work? No, sir, th this is a sting. Are you a bumblebee? N no, what I mean is this is a trap. Where? N no, th this is the hit TV show How to Catch a Pervert. Don't you see the camera crew? Oh, shit. They're not here because we didn't tell them we were doing this at the front door. They're still in the kitchen. Okay, you know what? You're still under arrest. Oh, rats. Hell yeah, Marvin. We got one. We did? So I get $100? No, because you didn't talk to the guy and we didn't get it on camera. So we're not going to make any money off this one. Oh, well, what about the footage from the first two guys? Well, that footage is not usable because those guys got away and the show is not called How to Let a Pervert Get Away. It's How to Catch a Pervert. So we'd have to actually catch one. Well, then just try to get another pervert over here and, and, and I'll help. Nah, I'm all rizzed out for tonight. Maybe some other time though. For right now, I have to point at the camera and say something. Hey, don't talk to strangers. And definitely don't meet up with strangers you met online or on Fortnite. Alright, Jeffy, it's time to go to bed. This is my bed. This is where I sleep. You're gonna sleep on the floor. On the floor? Yes, on the floor. So let's go put your PJs on. But dang, I don't wanna put my PJs on. I wanna wear my big boy pants. See, I got my big boy pants on, got my diaper on. Well, Jeffy, I'd let you sleep in your big boy pants, but every time you sleep in your big boy pants, you poop in them. So if you can promise me you're not gonna <laughs> if you can if you can promise me you're not gonna poop in them, then you know what? You're gonna sleep in it. But dang, it's squishy. I bet it is squishy. You're gonna sleep in the squishiness. But dang, I'm not ready to go to bed yet. I'm not tired. Jeffy, it's 10 o'clock at night. You have to go to bed. Well, can I play my cat piano? No. <laughs> Jeffy, I said no. Ow. No, go to bed. But dang, I'm not tired. I'm hungry. Can I have some cereal? In the morning. I want fruit loops. No. With milk. I said in the morning. <laughs> Jeffy, go to bed. Just, just go to bed. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, I'm gonna turn off the light, okay? Okay. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? No. Okay. Ah! What, Jeffy, what's wrong? Nothing. You just screamed. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, Jeffy, you screamed. No, I didn't, Dad, I didn't scream. <sighs> okay, just don't scream. Ah! What's wrong? Nothing. You you screamed, Jeffy. Dang, I'm not screaming. Yes, you are. That was you screaming. I didn't scream. It's just the two of us. You're the one that screamed. No, I didn't. You screamed. No, I did it. When did we all scream for ice cream? Stop it. Okay. Ah! What? Nothing. You keep screaming. You keep screaming at me. Because you're screaming. I'm not screaming. Oh, oh you're not screaming? No. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we'll see. Ah! Did I say your mouth open? No, I wasn't! Yes, I saw it with my own eyes! No, you didn't, you're blind! Just stop it! Stop screaming! Just I'm not, not screaming! Knock it off! You knock it off! <sighs> I saw your mouth moving! No, you didn't, Dad! You can't see anything! Jeffy, stop it! I'm not doing anything! You're screaming! No, I'm not! Jeffy, stop it! I'm sorry, Dad. I'm just scared of the dark. You just said you weren't afraid of the dark. No, I didn't! Go to bed! But, Dad, I need a nightlight. No, you don't. Big boys don't need nightlights. But, Dad, what if the boogeyman comes and tries to eat me? The boogeyman is not going to eat you because you want to know what? The boogeyman doesn't eat kids who poop their pants. The boogeyman doesn't eat kids with poopy pants? Nope, so you're all good there, buddy. Well, Dad, the boogeyman's never going to get me. Well, I, 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 I lied. Uh, the, the, the boogeyman loves poop. The, the boogeyman eats kids, especially who poop their pants. Well, it's too late, Dang. I want to poop in my pants. I know. I already heard it. I'll just go to bed. Meow. Meow. No, he didn't. Meow.
Jump me outside, no cat piano! Daddy? What? What did you do with my cat piano? I, I, I ate it. Why are you doing that? Jimmy, just go to bed. Are you really that hungry that you had to eat my cat piano? I said go to sleep. But I'm just trying to understand why you eat my cat piano. Why wouldn't you eat your own cat piano? Jimmy, oh. just, just, just go to bed. Or oh, why would you not eat someone else's cat piano? Go to sleep. Dang, I'm trying to understand. Jimmy, if you don't go to sleep, I'm going to staple your eyelids shut. Why are we doing that? First, you eat my cat piano. Then, you want to staple my eyelids shut? Go to sleep! Go to sleep, Jeffy. Take this to bed with me. Root mm. loop. Mm. <laughs> oh, the noise! Huh? I'll step your eyelids. I'll do it. Huh? Oh man, Jeffy, you okay? I need a glass of water. I'm thirsty. Oh man, I need a glass of water. <laughs> 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 Someone broke in the house! They made a huge mess! Let's go! I have to call the cops! I have to call the cops! Oh man, where are the cops? Where are the cops? I'm so scared! Hello? Hey there, you call the cops? Yes, officer, somebody broke into my house! Oh no. Did they take anything? I don't know, it's just a huge mess! Okay, let's go have a look. See, officer, look! Look at this huge mess! Do you just not know how to pour a bowl of Fruit Loops? You think I did this? I did not do this! What do you think, somebody just broke into your house, passed up everything valuable, and decided to make a Fruit Loop mess on your counter? Yes! That doesn't happen! Well, it did happen, I want you to find out who did it! Okay, okay, you know what I think happened? What? I, I'll tell you what I think. I think you made this mess, and then you called me because you want me to clean it up. I don't want you to clean this up! Well, good, because I'm not doing it! Unless you slide me a hundred. Unless I slide you a hundred. Slide me a hundred? I don't want you to clean it up. I want you to find out who did it. Well, I don't even know if this is a crime. It is a crime. Someone broke it and made a mess. Well, you know, cereal mess on your counter is not the kind of thing you see on America's Most Wanted. Well, it should be because it's a, it's a crime and someone broke it and did it. I want you to find out who did it. Well, I don't know. Do you have any kids? I have one kid that's not mine. Well, why don't you ask him instead of calling the cops? I could be hiding in the bush, pulling people over and giving them speeding tickets. You know, real justice. Huh. Jeffy did want Fruit Loops before he went to bed. Hmm. Jeffy! Okay, I'm gonna go. Jeffy! Ah, boogie man! Ah, get away from me, boogie man! You're not gonna eat me, boogie man! Stop it! I'm not the boogie man! 
when you scared me, Dad. What? Is that a spoon? Yeah? Are those Fruit Loops? It looks like it. You made a big mess in the kitchen, Jimmy! What mess in the kitchen? There's a huge mess in the kitchen! I didn't make a mess! Oh, c c come look at it, come look at it! This mess right here, Jeffy, you did this mess! Man, I didn't do this mess! Yes, you did, Jeffy, don't lie! No, I'm not lying, I didn't do it! Then why was there a spoon with Fruit Loops by you? I don't know, Dad, maybe it was the boogeyman! It wasn't the boogeyman, Jeffy, you did this! You did it all last night, before bed, you said you wanted to eat Fruit Loops! I never said that, Dad, I don't even like Fruit Loops! I like Cheerios, you're my fiber. Jeffy, you like Fruit Loops, and then you did this mess. Dad, I did not do this mess. Oh, look, Jeffy, look, a, a, a trail of Fruit Loops. Okay. Let, let, let's, let's follow them and see where they go. Okay. Well, would you look at that, Jeffy? The Fruit Loop trail goes up the stairs, and our room is upstairs. And? And I bet you these Fruit Loops go to our room. Well, I got five bucks that says that the Fruit Loops go to our room. Oh, I'll take that bet. I'll take that bet because I bet they do too. Okay. Well, look at that, Jeffy. The Fruit Loops go to our room. Well, it looks like you owe me five bucks. No, no, I knew the Fruit Loops were going to go to the room, so you owe me five bucks. All right, well, you owe me five bucks, and I owe you five bucks. So, just, let's just see if the Fruit Loops go to, go to where you're sleeping. They will. Because you did it? No, because the boogeyman did it. Oh, wow, Jeffy, just wow. The Fruit Loops go right to where you were sleeping. But I didn't do it, Dad. Yes, you did. The Fruit Loops are right where you were sleeping. Dad, someone planted these here. No, they didn't. It's rigged. It is not rigged, Jeffy. They're trying to frame me. Who's trying to frame you? The boogeyman. No, it's not the boogeyman, Jeffy. What? What? These Fruit Loops look like little colorful buttholes. That's Jeffy, don't, don't talk like that. Look, 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 look. You, what? I didn't do it. Yes, you did. So, so, you, so you're saying you didn't do it? No. And if I did do it, I didn't see myself do it. You didn't see yourself do it? No. That doesn't make any sense, Jeffy. You, you did do it. Did you do it? No, I didn't, Dad. I told you. If I did do it, I didn't see myself do it. But I don't think I did it. Okay. Well, I'm going to find out who did it. Good. I'm, I'm going to find out who did it. If you didn't see yourself do it, then I'm going to see you do it. I'm going to see you do some more stuff. All right, security camera set up. So if Jeffy leaves the room or makes a big mess, I'll catch him lying and then I'll ground him. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, we're gonna go back to sleep. And when we wake up, am I gonna find another big mess? Dang, I didn't even do the last mess. Yes, you did, because the Fruit Loops came all the way to where you were sleeping and I. No! No! Okay. No! Okay, okay fine. No! All right, well, when we wake up, I better not find another big mess. Okay, dang. Because this time I'll know. I'll have proof. <laughs> Jimmy! No. Hmm. Jimmy! What? What, what? what are you doing sleeping in my bed? Oh, I just wanted to sleep with you, Dad. No, no, no. You sleep on the floor. I sleep on the bed. Well, no. It's not really fair, Dad. Yes, Jeffy. You're supposed to sleep on the floor and I sleep on the bed. I'm not going to sleep with you in the same bed. Well, oh. Uh. Jimmy, look, did you make another mess? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Because I hid cameras. Cameras? Yeah, I hid cameras. So if you did, I'll be able to see. Let's, let's, let's go see, Jeffy. Okay. Oh! 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 Jeffy! What job, Dang? Why'd you make this mess? I didn't make the mess. You didn't make this mess? No. You promise? Yeah, I didn't do it. Well, I set up cameras, Jeffy, and we're gonna be able to see if you did it or not. Cameras? All right, Jeffy, let's check the security cameras. What TV show is this, Dang? It's not a TV show. It's you on the security camera leaving the room. <gasps> Who's that, Dang? That's you. Oh, why'd you be in this diaper like that? That's what you do. I don't do that. Wait, wait, look. Oh, see, look, it's you messing up the couch, Jeffy. Dang, that is not me. That is you, Jeffy. And that is you messing up the couch. Oh. See, Jeffy, you made a big mess. That kid's going to get a spanking on his butt. Yeah, you're going to get a spanking on your butt because it's you, Jeffy. Look, making a big mess. That's not me, Dang. That is you, Jeffy. Throw it instead of making a big mess. Oh, I don't know why I threw the cushion at the lamp. Wait, wait, Jeffy, tell me why you... You knocked at the camera? Why would you do that, Jeffy? Dang, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. That is totally you, Jeffy. You are grounded. What's grounded? That, that means no toys? No, huh? no, 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 nothing fun? Huh? Uh, the, 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 uh, the, you're, you're a bad boy! <laughs> yeah, cry, just cry. You think Jeffy's a bad boy? Yes, I did, he's a bad boy. Yeah, you're a bad boy. What? No, no, stop it, no, stop doing that. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, no, you're not a bad boy, you're not a bad boy. Okay, look, you're not grounded if you help me pick up the couch and everything. Okay. All right, and then, then we'll go back to bed. 
I had to stop making messes. Mm. All right, Jeffrey, we're gonna go back to sleep. And you better not make another mess, because now I got you on camera and I saw you do it. So there's no excuses. If you do it again, I'm gonna ground you. That means no toys, no helmet, no, 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 nothing. But, but, no, 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 but daddies. You did it. We saw you do it on camera. There's no excuses. But I didn't see myself doing it. Yes, you did. You saw yourself do it on camera. So stop saying that. Do not make another mess, okay? Because I got cameras everywhere. <sighs> Please kill me. Yeah. Jeffy, where are you going? Whoa. Jeffy, stop it! Go back to bed! I knew you were making those messes! Huh? What, Jeffy? What? Mm. Wait, he's sleeping. Wait, he's sleepwalking. That's why he's making all those messes. Oh man, I feel so bad. I've been yelling at him for sleepwalking and he can't help it. Oh man, I'm not supposed to wake a sleepwalker, but I gotta wake him up before he makes a big mess. Jeffy, wake up. Huh? Je Je well, wake up. What, Dad? I'm not sleeping. Yes, you are. You're sleepwalking, so you need to go back to bed. Sleepwalking? What's that? It's, it's, it's when you, you walk around while you're asleep and you can't help it, so I'm sorry for yelling at you, but you gotta go back to bed. Oh, no, Dad. I'm not sleepwalking. I've been awake the whole time. What? I just, I'm scared in the dark, and so I keep my eyes closed so I don't have to see the boogeyman. What? And so I try to do things with my eyes closed. Like, I try making the bowl of cereal with my eyes closed. I try cleaning the living room with my eyes closed. I just try to do stuff with my eyes closed. Daddy? <laughs> Daddy, you still there? So you just make messes on purpose? Daddy! <laughs> Daddy, where you at? Chocolate milk. I'll make you some later, Jeffy. Not right now. But I can pour it all by myself. No, you can't. You're going to spill it and make a big mess. But Marvin, I've been teaching him to pour his own chocolate milk. He can do it without spilling any. No, he can't. He's going to make a huge mess. Danny, I promise I won't spill a single ounce of chocolate milk anywhere but in the cup. I, I just don't believe you. Marvin, trust him. Yeah, Danny. Trust me. I just don't. Marvin, just let him try. <sighs> okay, fine, Jeffy. You can pour your own chocolate milk. But I swear, if you spill any of it on the floor, you're grounded. Alright, Daddy, I'm gonna spill some milk. I'm gonna spill some milk. No, no, Jeffy, get back here. No, he's singing, I'm gonna spill some milk. No, Daddy, I said I'm gonna pour some milk. It's that old age, Daddy. What? No, no, you said spill. No, I didn't. I said pour. You need to get your ears checked. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna spill some milk. He said pour, Marvin. Alright, I'm gonna pour me some chocolate milk just like Mommy taught me. There, I didn't even spill it. Now how am I going to get it upstairs? Hmm. Oh, I know. What was that crashing noise? Maybe it came from the neighbor's house. No, it came from our kitchen. It's Jeffy. Yeah, oh, run. I made it in the sink. But I was aiming for upstairs, so, oh well. Oh, I told you he was going to spill it. But, but we practiced. Jeffy, why'd you spill the chocolate milk? I didn't spill it. Then how'd it get all over the floor? Because I hit it with my bat. Why would you do that? Because I was trying to get it upstairs. Why didn't you just walk it upstairs? Because my legs don't work. Jeffy, you made this mess on purpose. Daddy, if I wanted to make a mess on purpose, this is what I would do. Wait, don't, don't you get it. Whoops. Jeffy! That is it! That is it! I'm calling a doctor to find out what's wrong with his head! I just spilled some milk. I just spilled some milk. And I just called the doctor to fix what's wrong with your brain. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Oh yes, doctor. There's something wrong with my son. I need you to fix him. Yeah, there's a crack in my butt, so I think I need a new one. <laughs> but no, he does the opposite of everything I tell him to do. Oh yeah, like the things from Cat in the Hat. Oh, I love that book! I, I, I was talking about the movie. I, I've never read the book too long. Look, 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 I just want you to help me fix my son, because I told him to pour a glass of chocolate milk without spilling it, and guess what he did? He spilled the chocolate milk? No, he hit it with a baseball bat and spilled it everywhere. Well, wow, yeah, yeah, okay, I can see we're dealing with some serious bad boyness. So, so how do I fix him? Hmm, well, what do you do when you're mad at him? I yell at him really loud. Yeah, and it's really starting to scar me emotionally. Hmm, well, maybe he's just doing this stuff to get attention. Wait, what? Yeah, you know, some kids get in trouble on purpose because they think it's funny when their parents yell at him. So, so maybe if you just ignore him, he'll stop being bad. No, if I ignored him, he'd keep doing the bad stuff. Well, no, because eventually he'd get bored because no one's paying attention to him. 
Oh. I mean, it's hard to ignore him because he makes a lot of loud noises. Okay, well, I'll just prescribe you these uh, these earplugs so you don't have to listen to them. I use them whenever I'm around my wife because she's like, nag, 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 and I'm just sitting there with my earplugs in so I don't have to listen to her, you know, just alone with my thoughts, thinking about all the mistakes I've made, like marrying her. Hmm, that sounds like a good idea. But I wasn't talking to you, book reader. I was talking to him. Well, I think it's a good idea. All right, well, let's do it. I guarantee this will make your kids stop being bad. Okay, baby, let's put some earplugs in and ignore Jeffy. Okay. All right, baby, I have the earplugs in my ears. What? I have the earplugs in my ears. I can't hear you. I have earplugs in my ears. What are you saying? What? Huh? I think I'm just going to ignore Jeffy. I can't hear what you're saying, but I'm just going to ignore Jeffy. What are those things in your ears? Daddy! Daddy, what are those things in your ears? Daddy, if you don't answer me, I'm gonna call the cops. All right, I'm gonna call the cops. <laughs> Daddy, are you ignoring me? All right, challenge accepted. You guys might not be able to hear me, but you'll definitely be able to feel me. Oh, looks like I'm all out. You guys are really gonna stick with this ignore me thing, huh? All right, cause I got more silly stuff. I'll be right back. All right, baby, just keep ignoring them. What? All right, Daddy, you still gonna keep ignoring me? If you keep ignoring me, I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. All right, you asked for it. <laughs> wow, you're a trooper, Daddy. You're still gonna keep ignoring me after all that? I'm gonna have to go get the big guns now. Marvin, are you okay? No. What? <sighs> How much longer are we going to ignore him for? What? All right, Daddy. I got the big guns. You still going to play this game? All right, Mommy. You want some too? Wow. They keep wanting to play this ignoring me game. Maybe one day they'll learn. Oh, my head hurts. What? I said my head hurts. What? Well, take those earplugs out of your ears. I said my head hurts. How much longer should we ignore him for? I don't know, Marvin, but I think he's starting to get bored now. I hope so. All right, Daddy. Prepare to get sniped. All right. Let me aim right at your eye. And boom! Oh, my God, Marvin! Oh, wow. What a shot. Right, Mommy? Why, why are you guys still ignoring me? Stop it! Huh? All right, fine. I give up. You guys win. He gives up. He gives up. That doctor was right, Marvin. Oh, my God. Thank God. Yeah, that doctor was right. All we had to do was ignore him and he'd stop. <sighs> Wee. Wee. I'm having so much fun. Wee. W-E-Wee. W-E-Wee, -E -E -E, yeah. Hey, I don't want anybody to get confused what we're talking about. Yeah. Hey, Junior, it's kind of hot in here. Can you turn on the fan? Why don't you do it? Me. Uh, M-E, me. Yeah, yeah, you. Go, go, go flip the light switch. No, 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 no. Uh, light flick machine. Light flick machine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. God, they own so many words. I know. <gasps> What's wrong, Jeffy? My mommy and daddy are ignoring me. Well, isn't that a good thing? Doesn't that mean you can do whatever you want? Yeah, if they're ignoring you, they're basically saying they don't care what you do. You can do whatever you want. Hmm, I didn't think of it like that. Oh, but since you guys mentioned it, now I want to do the most illegal thing that we can think of. You guys got any ideas? Uh, you could do tax evasion. You can go to federal prison for tax evasion. Yeah, but they have tennis courts and ice cream. Why doesn't everyone just do tax evasion? I think Jeffy should do something even more illegal. What's the most illegal thing in the entire world? Hmm. Ooh, you could cook math. What? Yeah, that show Breaking Bad, they cooked math. But they didn't cook math, Junior. Yeah, they cooked math. Didn't you listen to the show? So, Jeff, you could just cook math, like cook subtraction and addition. Ooh, and then you could sell it. See, 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 selling math is illegal. That's why school's free. But Junior, I think maybe you misheard what they said in the show. No, they were talking about math. So, Jeffy, the we and you should all go... Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Uh, no, I put an and between it. I don't know about that. Oh, it's not like I said GameCube. Uh, you are walking on hot water there, mister. Game... 
Q-tip? Q-tip, yes, get very fun Q-tip. Yeah, 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 that, that, that. Anyway, let's just go cook math. Come, come on, could do it with us. Uh, okay. Why are you doing? All right, we have all different kinds of math here, so let's get to cooking. Well, how do we start cooking math, Junior? I don't know, Cody, how do you cook math? They didn't cook math. What'd they cook then? Well, you know we can't say it. What? I mean, sorry, you know W-E can't say it. Look, all I remember from the show is the blue math was the most valuable, right? Yeah. Hey, look, 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 the, the blue math is on the addition cards. So cook the addition, that's worth more money. All okay. right. Oh, there's someone at the door. Hold on, Cody, just, just, just teach Jeffy how to cook math. What? Uh, hello? Hey there. Ah, the cops! What are you doing here? We were in the neighborhood cracking down on math labs, and I'm wondering if there's math in your house. No, no, there's no math in my house. Well, this rat here has been trained to smell out math, and he says there's math in there. I smell math. Well, stop ratting me out, rat. I can't help it. I'm a rat. Yep, that's about as much mileage as that joke, Scott. All right, I'm coming in to look for math. Well, no, no, I promise there's no math in here. Well, the rat said he smells math, so we're coming in. Uh Jeffy, Cody, run! We have to get out of here! The cops are here! Cody already left! What? Oh my god, look at all this math! I have nothing to do with this, I'm running! You, you must be the kingpin of this math operation! Oh, I'm sorry. I started cooking math because my parents stopped caring about me. Yeah, that's how it starts. Parents stop paying attention to their kids, and next thing you know, they're slinging math on the streets. All right, come on, we're gonna go talk to your parents. I'm shutting down this math operation. Aww. Hey there. What, the cops? Jeffy, what did you do? Care to explain this? Wait, what is that? That's math. What <gasps> math? Jeffy, where did you get math? He was cooking it. Cooking math? Where did we go wrong? Oh my God, what are they teaching our kids in school? Math, it's all over the schools. It's in middle schools, high schools, colleges. I hear in some places they're doing math as early as kindergarten. Oh my God, they need to crack down all this math. Jeffy, why'd you start cooking math? Well, you guys were ignoring me, so I didn't know what else to do. Oh my god, officer, what could we have done differently? Should have paid more attention to your son. Well, you're the one who told us to ignore him. No, Dr. Me told you to ignore him. Police officer Me saying you should have paid more attention to your son. See, you're lucky, because he hasn't actually started doing math yet. See how it isn't filled out? Yeah, see, if he had actually started filling that out and doing math, he'd be hooked for life. So, I'm just gonna let him off with a warning this time. But if he ever gets busted for math again, he'll be in a lot of trouble. Okay. We need to be better parents to our son. All right, Jeffy, we're gonna start. We're gonna start taking care of you, and we're gonna start paying attention. So, what is something you want to do right now? Um, I want some chocolate milk. Like earlier, I should have helped them pour it. So, I'm gonna help you pour chocolate milk like a good father. No, Danny, I think I got it. No, no, I'm gonna help you. No, I can pour my own chocolate milk. No, I'm definitely gonna help no, you pour it because no, you, you're gonna no, hit it with a baseball bat. No, you're not. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna pour the milk for milk. you. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna pour the milk for milk. you. Why are you nerds reading? Shh. What are you reading, Joseph? I'm reading Naruto. That's cool. Yeah. What are you reading, Mikey? Vegetables! What are you reading, Cody? I'm reading a biography about myself. Wait, about yourself? Yeah, yeah, it's about my entire life right up to this very minute. Well, well, what part are you on? I'm at the part where you ask me what I'm reading and I tell you it's a biography about myself. Oh, skip ahead. What, what happens? Oh, let's see. Um, oh, it says we get demonetized again. Again? Yeah. Let me skip ahead even more. <sighs> Uh, what? We get sued again? Why? Oh, we tried to use one of the plushies. We'll skip ahead at the end. Okay, let me see. Uh, it says Elon Musk buys YouTube and deletes our channel. I guess he's not a fan. What's about to happen the next minute? Well, oh, look at that. We're gonna get a new teacher. The principal's about to come in laughing maniacally. <laughs> I finally found him! The perfect teacher. You brats thought you wouldn't have to go through summer school because you made two teachers quit. Oh, but I finally found him. The perfect teacher. Someone more evil than me. Evil incarnate. The devil himself. Blech. I meet Satan. <laughs> I actually prefer Craig. Meet Craig. <laughs> He's just being friendly. See, he'll make you murder your parents. Oh, I don't know about that. That's a little hardcore for me. Uh, don't listen to him. He knows Osama Bin Laden himself. It's true. We play Jenga together. But he makes us play with two towers, and I don't think he knows how to play, because he just kind of knocks them over. But hey, I always win. <laughs> the devil always wins. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Craig. Listen, Satan. I want you to teach these little brats, but I want you to torture them. I don't want them to feel any type of... Fucking fun. I want them to feel pain. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So listen to the devil, kids. <laughs> Toodaloo. <laughs>
Whoa, Cody, that book was right. What happens next? I think we should just watch and find out. Okay. Hello, class. I am the devil. But you can call me Craig. And I am going to be your teacher for the summer school. And I am only going to do evil things. So first, you are all going to bring your pencils up to me so I can sharpen them until they are very tiny like this. <laughs> How will you hold on to something so tiny? Oh, it's so evil. Now come bring up your pencils. Uh, that's something we already do with our pencils. Oh. Well, in that case, you have to keep your pencils normal size! <laughs> so evil! Okay, so for my next evil lesson, um, oh, I know, we're going to color, but only using white crayons on white paper! <laughs> How pointless and evil! Look at this, you can't even see it on the paper! Why do they make this? It's so evil! Ah, uh, teacher, can I use the bathroom? I don't know, can you? <laughs> You see, I could have said yes because I know you have to use the bathroom, but instead I decided to be evil and waste everybody's time by being an asshole. Because you said, can I use the restroom instead of may I use the restroom? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> go ahead, go use it. Too late, I already crapped in my pants. Good, that was my intention. So stinky, so poopy, your pants are. <laughs> so now, for my next lesson, I'm going to teach you the alphabet with the help of my assistant, Billy. What's up, everybody? My name's Billy. Yeah! Today, I'm going to be teaching you your alphabet. So say it with me, class. A is for AIDS. B is for blood infected with AIDS. C is for crack needle with AIDS. D is for damn it, I have AIDS. E is for everybody should have AIDS. F is for fuck, I have AIDS. G is for good, I have AIDS. H is for hey, you want AIDS? Igloo AIDS! How much longer does this go on for? Us? G is for G's, I got AIDS. He's, he's doing the whole alphabet. Is for knife AIDS. L is for lame, you don't have AIDS. M is for Mickey Mouse AIDS. N is for now you have AIDS. O is for oops, you have AIDS. P is for penis AIDS. Q is for queef AIDS. R is for raccoon AIDS. S is for shit, you have AIDS. T is for totally AIDS. U is for uh-oh, I have AIDS. V is for ventricular AIDS. W is for whoop-dee-doo, I have AIDS. X is for x-ray AIDS. Y is for you have AIDS. And C is for zero chance of you not having AIDS after listening to this whole alphabet. Thank you very much, Billy. Any questions, class? Should I say it again? Dear God, don't say all that again. Okay, class, now we're going to teach you manners. So Billy here is going to be an old lady trying to cross the street. Oh no, I'm a weak old lady with AIDS and I need to cross the street to get to my doctor's appointment for my AIDS. So this is what you do, class. Excuse me, old lady, do you need help crossing the street? Oh yes, I'm a weak old lady with AIDS and I need help crossing the street to get to my AIDS appointment. Too bad! Get out of my way, AIDS lady! See, that's how it's done, class. Yeah, I would have done the same thing, except I would have also stabbed her with an AIDS needle! You could also do that! These guys suck at being evil. 
Okay class, now we're going to teach you about supply and demand. So we're going to give you an example of low supply and high demand. Excuse me sir, one AIDS please. Sorry sir, I'm fresh out of AIDS. Damn it, I really needed some AIDS. See class, that was an example of low supply and high demand which causes inflation. And for me to be angry. Now I'm going to give you an example of high supply and low demand. Oh no, whatever am I going to do with all of this AIDS? Ooh, gimme, gimme, gimme! No, no, Billy, this is supposed to be an example of low demand. You're not supposed to want the AIDS. Not supposed to want the AIDS. Pfft, I'm always gonna want the AIDS. I love me some AIDS. Well, I know, but this is supposed to be low demand. Yeah, but use something else, because I'm always gonna want AIDS. It's AIDS, man. Well, Billy, you can't have more AIDS. Once you already have AIDS, you can't have more. Oh yeah, you wanna bet? I'm gonna get all the AIDS. I'm gonna have the Guinness Book of World Records for the most AIDS. You can't have the most AIDS. I have AIDS times 12. Hey class, what's AIDS times 12? It's AIDS! Everything multiplied by AIDS is AIDS! Okay, Billy, I think it's time for you to go. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna take the AIDS needle with me. Oh, now I have AIDS. Uh, excuse me, teacher, are we gonna ever actually learn anything? What do you mean? I've been teaching you stuff all day about being evil. Like, uh, like, like this. Like, like, don't recycle, because who even cares? You know, throw your plastic bottles away in the regular trash. Like, you use plastic straws, it doesn't matter. They're much better than paper straws, those are yucky. Who cares if it kills a few sea turtles? What are they even good for? Helping Nemo's dad? I mean... Clownfish only lived like 8 to 12 years, so Nemo's got to be dead by now, right? You know, and he had a busted fin, so there's no way he even lived that long anyway. Probably got eaten by an eel or something. I don't know. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Teacher. You're really bad at being evil. Like, you really suck at it. Like, I don't even think you're a bad person. <laughs> you're right. I'm a terrible devil. My father told me I'd never be evil enough. Oh, I can't do this. I'm so sorry, kids. Wait a minute. What if I put this straw in the pencil sharpener? That could be pretty fucking evil. Well, that was pretty anticlimactic. Okay, I'm sorry, kids. Bye. What, he just left just like that? Yeah, I guess so. Wow, we have no teacher. Can, can you tell me what happens next? Okay. Oh, it looks like the principal's coming back. my fucking life. God, kill me. <laughs> oh, hey, kids. <laughs> well, first off, congratulations. You made the devil quit. <laughs> That's a huge achievement. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of you guys. Uh, and summer's over, so I guess you guys passed summer school. Yeah! Shut the fuck up! I was talking! Did I say you could talk? Shh! Not a damn pee! Shh! Anyway. Regular school starts tomorrow, so... Uh, Shut the hell up! What did, I, what did I say? I just said shh! I'm talking! Just shh, 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 shh. Class is dismissed. Yeah! Hey! I'm talking! Right here, my mouth, my mouth is fucking moving! Shh! Shut the fuck, shh! Yay, guys, we're done with summer school. Heck yeah. I'm gonna go watch my dad beat Miss Fitzpatrick. Okay. What's the next video gonna be, Cody? Oh, let me see. Um, it says Jeffy gets a Russian mail order bride. What? I, I don't know, that's what it says. Beanbag chair? No, Jeffy. Well, can I take this ball pump and stick it in my ball sack and pump it up until my ball sack's as big as a beanbag chair? No, Jeffy. It's a ball pump. That's what it's for. No, it's used to blow up like balls and basketballs. And Jeffy, you're grounded. For asking a question. Yes. All right, Danny. Well, since you're the best daddy ever, here's 20 bucks. Ooh, 20 bucks. Wait a minute. You didn't think I would see the rat trap, did you? What rat trap? Well, little did you know, I have the fastest reflexes in the West. We live in the South. Come here, 20. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Are you okay? Oh my God! Oh, it's so bad, Jeffy! 
If you have 20 bucks, why'd you ask me for a beanbag chair? Because the beanbag chair is 40 bucks, and the joke is priceless. Oh my god, baby, call a doctor! Hey! Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, my hand's crushed by a mouse trap. Oh my god, you're coming with us. Wait, what's going on? Come on, guy, don't make this any harder than it needs to be. But, but what's going on? You're being fired from SML, guy. What? Why? Well, because of this comment from user PS6YK6VW50. Please remove Pumpkin Guy, and I need all because we're really bad. He's a put the pizza with the balloon and giving a hundred dollars. Don't not give Jeffrey a needle. What? What the fuck? My name's not even Pumpkin Guy. That's clearly just a six-year-old with a tablet. Somebody take it away from him. Come on, Pumpkin Guy. My name's not Pumpkin Guy. This is a mutiny. A mutiny. Marvin, who's gonna be your doctor now? I I have no idea. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I thought we were cool. No, no, we're not cool, Brooklyn guy. We've been getting a lot of complaints about you in the comments. What, the pumpkin guy comment? That's not me. My name isn't even pumpkin guy. I mean, yeah, my hair is orange, but did you read the comment? He was talking about pizza and balloons. He's got to be on some kind of drug. That comment was the last straw. You've been overused. You've been in 17 of the last 20 videos. So? You can't get enough guy, right? You're always going to need a cop or a doctor or a firefighter. Videos based about you don't do very well. The Dalmatian got 2.1 million views in three days. Jeffy's voice changer got 2.2 in one day. What do you have to say about that, pumpkin guy, you fuck? Oh, come on. Videos based on animals never do good. Hey, wait, aren't you the guy who thinks of the fucking ideas? Come up with better ideas. Look, videos about you just don't do well. We have all the proof right here. Just shit views. The video right now is not even going to do good. Just put Jeffy's name in the title. Name it, Jeffy gets Brooklyn guy fired. The views will go bananas. They love Jeffy. They eat that shit up. They're like, that's my boy Jeffy. They'll watch it twice. But Jeffy didn't get you fired. Who gives a shit? Just do it. He was in the intro. That's enough. Look, the fans are just tired of seeing you. They call you filler guy. They call you a filler character. They're also tired of your one minute animated stories about your life. Oh, they are? Uh, hold on. <clears throat> Hello? Nick. Nick, it's me, Brooklyn guy. Yeah, stop oh. animating. Stop okay. it. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll save it for later. I think we just need to let you go for now. But, but what about the seven minute videos when you hit a dead end and you have no idea how to get three more minutes, huh? What are you gonna do? We'll figure it out. Now leave. Take off your puppet stick and Pablo, shake them off your hand. Okay. Hey. Boiny, why the long face? I got fired, Karen. What? Job. From all the jobs. You can't be fired from all your jobs, Boiny. Well, they did. They fired me from all of it, everything, the whole situation. I don't even know how this scene is happening right now. Well, don't worry, Boiny. You'll get a new job. No, I'm not. Not in this universe. I think I got cut, Karen. I think I'm like Mr. Pig and Corn Dog and Mr. Magoo and Tony the Tiger and all those Angry Birds fuckers. But, Boiny, how are they gonna get to 10 minutes without you? <laughs> I'd like to see them try. I ran that shit. Well, Boiny, aren't their views going to go down without you? No, they have Jeffy. They can steamroll with that for a few years at least. Michael Strahan on Good Morning America couldn't take him down. I think he's fine. Well, what about that guy Nick who animates all your life stories? Well, I guess he's done too. I mean, I can't really see him animating anybody else's life stories. He better not. Boiny, I have an idea of what could cheer you up. Let's go to Outback! Well, Karen, that's just going to be another filler scene. That's exactly the kind of thing they hate me for. Well, what do you call this right here, right now? Boiny. Character development. Have they never seen a goddamn movie? Sometimes you have to talk to get the point across. They called me Pumpkin Guy, Karen. What? I don't know. Let's just go to Outback. All right, guys. Here's your new scripts. New scripts? Who's going to replace the doctor? I don't know. Hola, somebody call a doctor? Haple? Who are you? Me, I'm a Juan. I am the only Juan qualified to be your doctor today. Haple? Well, Juan, I got my hand smashed by a rat trap. Hell, ouchie, senor. I wouldn't want to be you right now. Can you help me, Juan? Well, Juan, do you want me to do about it. Well, take an x-ray of my hand, make sure it's not broken. Okay, give one just one minute. Hop it. Oh, Karen, even this blooming onion can't even cheer me up. <laughs> I'm just kidding, this shit's delicious. I could eat two entire ones of these right now. Oh, and the blooming sauce. I wish I shit that. Then I could dip the blooming onion in the toilet bowl just so I could have more of it. And look at me, with a baked potato and french fries. How do you like your potatoes? Yes. All of it. Oh, there I go. Yapping again. That's filler. See, that's why they hate me, Karen, because I have interests. The macaroni and cheese is also delicious. Boiny, I feel like I've already lost five pounds from eating this salad. Yeah, well, you haven't. Let's dig in, Karen. Dad, 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 look, it's Jeffy Cop. What'd you just call me? You're the cop for Jeffy. I have a fucking name. Boiny, be nice. Take a picture with the kid. <sighs> you want a picture? No, thanks. But 
What the fuck? Does he like me or not? Who just screams at somebody and then doesn't get a picture with him? Eat your food, Boiny. I'm all washed up, Karen. I'm just gonna eat my bloomin' onion, sadly. Oh, Karen. Crikey, that really hit the spot, mate. Or however they say it in Australia. All right, sir, here's your bill. Oh, yeah, let me just grab my credit card. Oh, fuck. What's wrong? I can't pay. What? Yeah, I kind of got fired today from existing. Why would you come to a restaurant if you got fired? Well, it was my wife's idea. She mentioned Outback, and then I just thought about the Blooming Onion, and I didn't even think about how I was going to have to pay. But, Boyne, I didn't know you didn't have any money. Well, yeah, Karen, they kind of took everything. Wait, are you serious right now, or is this a joke? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is just a joke. Oh, thank God. Yeah, well, yeah, we can pay, but we're not ready to pay yet. We're gonna need another Bloomin' Onion. Okay, I'll go get that. Run, Karen. What? Run, we're not paying! But what? What? what Run! Ah! Okay, well, I gotta get the Bloomin' Onion sauce. I mean, I might as well take the whole plate. I'm already committing a crime. <gasps> okay, Karen, we just dined and dashed. Put this in the fridge. Boiny, why did we have to dine and dash? Because, Karen, I don't have a job anymore. I'm not even technically a real person. This is our life now. But, Boiny, what are we gonna do for money? Well, I guess I could try being a video game streamer, and then when I make it really big, I can send inappropriate shit to little kids. Boiny, why would you do that? I don't know, apparently that's the thing now. That's what you do when you make it big. All right, Chief, this is his house. God damn it, guy, open this door. We know you stole a blooming onion from Outback. That shit's delicious. You know you're supposed to pay for something that good. Open up this door before I break it down. Oh no, Karen, it's the cops. Boyney, do you think they're here to arrest us for dining and dashing? Uh, nope. Nope, I don't think that's what it is at all. Especially not because he just yelled that I stole a blooming onion. Well, what are we gonna do, Boyney? Oh, well, sure as hell not gonna answer the door. What if they break the door? Oh shit, you're right. I can't afford a new door, and it'd be really hard to steal a door from Home Depot. Okay, here's what we'll do. Right before he rams the door open, I'll open it so he flies into the house, and then you open up the back door so he goes straight out the back. Boy, that's never gonna work! It's worth a shot! All right, Simmons, he ain't answering. Break the door down. How would you like me to do that, sir? Well, throw your body weight into it. But this is handcrafted mahogany. I'm not gonna be able to break that down. Just break it down, Simmons. All right, sir. Uh, uh. Oh, my arm! You're such a pussy, Simmons. I am what I eat, sir. I'm gonna show you how a real man does it. Oh, damn it. They got me with the old Looney Tunes trick. Yes! Oh, my God, Karen, it actually works! What an idiot! All right, guy, you're coming with me. Oh, shit, I forgot I'm supposed to close the front door. All right, Simmons, you got me fair and square. Take me to jail. Oh, you're not going to jail, mate. You're going to where all the other forgotten characters are. You're going to the Forgotten Character Dungeon. No, not the Forgotten Character Dungeon! Please, I'll start saying, uh, no, I don't want to eat my green beans, Daddy! Uh, uh, uh. All right, guy, get in there. What is this? Well, I know what this is. It's the secret door. But please don't make me go in there. I don't want to be forgotten. You're done, guy. Get in there. Uh, uh. I'll never forget you, guy. Wait, Simmons, don't go. Uh. What is this place? Oh, God. Characters we haven't used in a really long time and probably never will because we don't know where they are. Hey, newbie. What are you, what are you doing in here? We just used you in a video back in April. I washed up, guy. People don't want to see me no more. They're tired of me going, Jerry Boy! And using my hands as binoculars and digging in oh, the bushes. Okay, okay, you're kind of talking a little too long. Where's Jeffy? See, that's exactly what they said in the comments. Wait, who the hell is that? Oh, that? That's tour guide Goofy. He's smoking his kush. Well, he must have been a little bit before my time. Actually, I don't think I ever met any of these people. Yeah, well, just uh, sit back and relax and fade off and do a picture on the wall. But I don't want people to forget about me. Well, that's all right. It ain't so bad. You can always smoke some of Goofy's Kush because he's fucked out of his goddamn mind. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Can you please just do my hand x-ray? I'm so sorry, senor. I forgot. Well, how'd you forget? I asked for an x-ray. You came back with a maraca and a sombrero. Well, it's a Feliz Navidad. It's a Merry Christmas. What? What do you want to eat? You want to cheat, dude? What do you want to drink? You want a Coke? Is that for here or to go? Are you even a doctor or do you work at a Mexican restaurant? Well, I got a very sad story to tell you, senor. Very sad. One time, I was working at a Mexican restaurant, and there was a family that came in and sat down, and I brought them their food and said, hot plate, and I put the hot plate on the table, and the kid no listened to me, and he touched the hot plate, and he burned his finger, and the parents looked at me very mad, and I said, I told him hot plate. So that's why I always tell people hot plate, because the plate is very hot. Wasn't that the saddest story you ever heard? My hand hurts. Hey, 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 what the hell's going on here? Who are you? Juan. Well, Juan, did you just do an animation? See? Si. Oh, that is it. <laughs> what up, rookie? Nick, what the fuck? Oh, guy, I I'm sorry, but like, you know your boy needed that cash. 
Okay, well, screw off. Listen, you need me, okay? You can't fire me just over some comment from somebody who doesn't even know my name. Well, the comment was really upset. Like, they don't want you to be a character anymore. No, no, no. Let me analyze this comment and see what they're talking about. Okay, remove pumpkin guy. All right, well, that's clearly me. And I need all because we're really bad. Need all. N needle! He's trying to say needle! Okay, uh, he's a put the pizza with the balloon pizza Piece, piece of baloney! Okay, I think I see what's going on here. See, in the last video, I hid a needle in a piece of baloney to try to trick Jeffy into getting his shots. But he didn't want the baloney, so I hid the needle in a hundred dollars. And then I gave him the shot. So he's mad that I tricked Jeffy with a piece of baloney and a needle in a hundred dollars. That's what he's trying to say. Yeah, that does make sense. I mean... He clearly just doesn't know how to type. Yeah, exactly. So I don't think we should be listening to this kid who couldn't even think of a fucking username and doesn't even know my name. I mean, yeah, you are a really good character. I don't think we should get rid of you over one little comment. Thank you. Now, to celebrate, I'm going to have some of this enchilada. Ow, God damn it! I burned my fingers! Why didn't somebody warn me the plate was hot? Hot plate. Hey guys, it's Logan. Thank you guys so much for helping us reach our goal of selling two thousand jeffy pianos the jeffy piano will only be available until july 31st so if you still want one go on smlmerch.com right now and pre-order yours now thank you so much for being amazing fans we love you guys and i can't wait to make more videos for you